Hey guys, so I want to do a quick little comparison video here with the DualShock 4 controller versus the, I guess, DualShock 3 controller here. The PlayStation 3 controller versus the PlayStation 4. Now, I don't have the PlayStation 4 console, uh, but I only have the controller over here. But I thought it could still be fun to have a look at. So, first of all, I do enjoy that it looks like it has big, bigger these things that you hold. Uh, definitely a good little design choice there. Uh, the layout is pretty much the same. You have some kind of touchpad here, which is pretty interesting. Could be, probably be very, very useful. Uh, same, almost kind of feeling on these. Doesn't really feel that much different. What is though way better here is these. You can see you get a better grip. Uh, these, wow, they were just horrible. Uh, with this kind of design. I mean, it's pretty easy to slip. The easiest, it's not that easy to slip and do a mistake. Uh, same PS button there in the middle, both are pretty, pretty confident they both are like Bluetooth. Uh, very much the same design here also on these X and uh, triangle and circle and, and all of those and, and square of course. Uh, same kind of um, design there haven't changed really uh, you do have the start button here and the select button which I really didn't like on this one it felt like yeah didn't really feel all that great I know it's dirty I have put it in vodka uh, these looks definitely way better more solid on the brand new DualShock 4 controller also some kind of thing here like I'm not sure what that is maybe heat or something no I'm not sure uh, this button looks also pretty soft it doesn't have, seem to be having those blinking things. Maybe this one will start to blink because I'm, I have no idea what that is. That is. Uh, I think it's a little bit weird that they ship this out without just a normal standard cable so you can charge it. I think that's a little bit random uh, to be, yeah. That, that is, it is a little bit random. Uh, another thing that they've done with this one is these stand out more, which is a good thing. So you get a little bit of a better grip here, it seems. At least I do. But I'm really not sure if I like him a lot if I would compare them against the Xbox One, which seems to be having bigger uh, on the back. I do enjoy these buttons though, these upper buttons here, they feel pretty solid. But this was just like, oh my god, it's a way better design uh, on these, because these were just... Feels like it's easy to slip uh, with this one. But uh, yeah, it's a good upgrade overall, I would say a very, very good upgrade uh, compared to the original one. So that's definitely pretty nice. So I wanted to make this quick video, hopefully you did enjoy. I also made some other controller videos. If you want to check them out, you can definitely go ahead and do that. Yeah, peace out.